Hi guys, my name is Sarah and I'm the Beauty Author. Welcome back to another Beauty Author episode of the Beauty Author series. Today's episode is going to be a haul. Um, I've done some shopping this past weekend and this past month and I've got some things that I'd like to share with you guys. Um, so if you're interested, then keep watching. I'm going to go ahead and get started with Wet Seal. So I went into Wet Seal and I didn't have any intention on shopping or anything, but I was um, looking at their jewelry and I had about a few pieces in my hand and then I went to check out and the girl was telling me that they're an additional 70% off. So I was really excited when I found that out and then I just um, went back and picked up a couple more things. But yeah, let me go ahead and show you guys what I got. I got this bangle set. I got two bangle sets. This is the first one. I love the color theme that's going on. I like the combination of colors. I think it looks super cute. But that's the first one. The second bangle set that I have is right here. And it's got the hems uh, symbol right there. Cute, 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 cute. But then I bought some earring sets. This is the first earring set. If I can get it untangled. Oh no. <laughs> okay. They're fighting. <laughs> oh, okay, alright, so. Jeez. Oh, it really doesn't want to. Oh my god. Okay. Um, this is the first one. And um, the bangles were about $3. These were about a dollar or two dollars and some odd change. The second bangle set, if I can find them. right next to my foot is this one. So I got these two sets of earrings. And then the last thing I bought from Wet Seal was this piece right here. But um, that's all I bought from Wet Seal. Again, everything was an additional 70% off. The cheapest was about a dollar to two dollars and eighty cents, and then the most expensive item was three dollars, which was the bangles. So that was a really good deal. It was a great deal. But um, these earrings, I want to show you guys. I wanted to keep them out because they match this necklace that I bought, and I bought this necklace from Francesca's. That's the next place I'd like to introduce to you guys. Um, I went into Francesca's and um, the, rep the um, associate was telling me that everything's an additional 40% off, so she kind of got me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought that was cute how these two match each other. Anyways, um, that's the first item. The second necklace that I have is this big one right here pretty big. Um, I thought it was a nice piece. Um, I know that like, well, from what I've seen, like if you go to like a Macy's or some sort of department store, these usually retail at like, they're, they're pretty expensive. But when I saw that there's, this was an additional 40% off, I got pretty happy because I thought it was pretty cute and, you know, I figured I might wear it someday. <laughs> but this piece was the second one that I bought. And then the last three pieces that I have are also necklaces. Uh, this one's next. That's cute. Um, this one, second to last piece that I'm going to show you. And I thought that was pretty cool because you can like wear this as a hair accessory. You know how some you know girls wear these on their wear necklaces as hair pieces. I thought that was cute. But yeah, this one, and then the last 
necklace is this one right here. It looks like that. And then on, oops. On the bottom, it's got a, like a cubic zirconian um, detailing on the bottom. And on the inside too, it's got it all around. But um, the earrings that I found to match with this necklace was from Target. Look at how cute that is. And I think that's perfect. Like it matches the color and detailing and everything. Super cute. But yeah. That's it from Francesca's. Now the last um, jewelry piece is from H&M. And this was full price. I think it was like $9.99 or $9.98. But it's it was pretty cheap. But it's this one right here. And I like this necklace a lot because I did wear this to an interview I had. I like the fact that, well, I personally think you can dress this up. You can dress this down. Um, it can be casual. It can be formal. It just kind of depends on the look that you're trying to achieve, but I think this would be perfect for really anything. And it's cute. <laughs> so that's all I have as far as jewelry items. Um, the next thing that I want to move on to is makeup. So I went to Ulta, I think it was like within this past month, and they were doing the Tarte collections. It might have been two months ago, but... <laughs> um, I know that it was within 2014, so this past month or the month before that. Uh, the first thing I want to show you guys is the uh, Tarte Sweet Dreams. It's the lip set. Looks like that. I swatched these in store and, in the store, and I was I love the colors and I love the smell. They're like a minty kind of smell, and the consistency was pretty nice too. But um, they look like that. They have uh, some tints, glosses, and I want to say sticks, lipsticks, but that's the set. And I went ahead and also purchased the blush set collection. This is the four Amazonian clay 12 hour blushes. Looks like that. So yeah, I mean, I thought it was pretty well worth it. Um, $35 and you get four blushes. So, had me sold. Then this next item is also the, um, it's part of the collection, the Sweet Dreams collection. I already took it out of the box, but it looks like that. I thought that the entire Sweet Dreams collection, um, the detailing of the box, I thought was really pretty. I feel like it was pretty fancy like I think I like the design <laughs> on the box um, not more than the actual product but both of them were pretty nice like it was the total package um, and that's this right here oh upside down looks like that and you kind of tilt it to the side and it opens other side <laughs> Looks like that. You have a mascara, three lip glosses, this compact eyeshadow compact where you can I uh, take this out and I open it. I'll show you guys what it looks like. You open that. And it's got this section right here where you can put your um, eyeshadows. They have these quads right here where these just kind of you uh, lift this up right here and they come out and you can put them in this compact which is pretty nice that it's portable um, that's cool but I love the colors they were matte colors and then they there's some shimmer the colors that are matte the eyeshadow colors that are matte I think are perfect matte colors for me I think um, at least and then the blushes are also, um, they just kind of have a nice combination, different um, different blushes, I think. Um, well, what I'm trying to say is I like it. <laughs> That's why I got it. But 
Um, I like the blushes, I like the eyeshadows, and uh, overall I think it's a pretty good collection. So that's pretty much it for Tarte collection. Um, the next uh, four beauty items that I want to show you are lipsticks. And they are add-ons to my collection of uh, Wet n Wild, the matte lipsticks. The new ones that I bought are... Let me just pull them out. All right, so I added number 34491, Rose to Fame. I know my camera's not picking up, but it's it looks like this. Um, I would love to do a separate video as far as like a, a review and some swatches, but if you are interested, feel free to let me know. I have nothing but great things to say about these lipsticks. I absolutely love them. Color, um, quality, everything about them is amazing. This next one is in 904, it's 904 B, it's in Rosebud. Looks like that. Super pretty color. And then this next one is probably my favorite just because it's more um, of a everyday wear kind of color. But it they forgot to put a sticker. <laughs> Wet n Wild must have forgot to put a sticker on it because it came like this. Um, this color is closer to number 902, num uh, letter C. It's the Bear It All. And um, I would have to say the only difference is that this is a lot more, it's ashier, I guess. So that's the difference, I guess. So two favorites because I wear this one, you know, well, I can wear it every day, but I like it. And then the last lipstick I have to show you is from NYC. It's the Expert Last Lip Color. But I like this one because it smells good. It looks good. It, um, yeah, everything about it is just pretty amazing. It's the NYC number 440 in Creamy Caramel. This reminds me a lot of Bonnie Bell's Cappuccino. It's the lip glosses that Bonnie Bell used to have, but it looks like that. It smells super good, but looks like that. And I'm wearing it right now. I can just touch up but yeah like I said it smells really good and um, and then the last two things that I want to show you guys is some food items so I'm gonna go ahead and show you these chips they're from food should taste good that's the name of the company I believe and um, there's sweet potatoes they're all natural tortilla chips. They look like that. The best thing about these chips that if you turn to the back side, you'll see that it says it's gluten-free, it's um, vegan, it's kosher, there's low sodium. I think the best part though is that they taste really good. They taste like sweet potatoes. Um, I got these for free when I was going to um, a fair and um, there was lots of vendors and they were just passing these out for free so I got uh, a handful of them but I'm super glad I did because I really like them and I'll probably try to find out where I can get my hands on some more of these but that's one thing as far as the food items that I want to show you guys and then this is from Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory tastes so good <laughs> it's got um, tofu and then um, it's got um, like chocolate and then it's covered with nuts but it's opened <laughs> I'm tempted to eat this right now but I'm not going to because I'll just wait till I get off a of camera but um, <laughs> no it tastes really good I just got it from a friend she just um, I don't know where she got them from but she gave me a couple and I ate one and I was just like, oh my god, these taste really good. And 
ever since then I've wanted to get some more but anyways that's pretty much it I have nothing else to share with you guys let me know what your favorite uh, piece was out of everything or anything that I showed you um, if you have any questions again feel free to leave your comment or question below in the comment box okay or send me um, send me your feedback to my email if you if you need to do that okay well I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day wherever you are and we'll see you in the next video bye